Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be painting some lovely poppies for Remembrance Day and I'm going to combine the pouring acrylics with pressing some real plants and this way you can get some awesome results and it's much easier than you think. Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you're all good. Now tomorrow is the 11th of November and on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918 the first world war ended so in the uk tomorrow a two minute silence is going to be held at 11 a.m to remember all the soldiers who died in in all wars not just the first world war we were talking about the event with my students and we read the beautiful poem in flanders fields and i just felt like it occasion to actually paint some poppies today these are the paints I'm going to use today. So we've got Arteza Gold, Scarlet Red, Paints Grey. And with Paints Grey, I actually mixed it with white. So I've got three, three different tones, the lightest, mid-tone and the darkest one. So these are all basically Paints Grey with a bit of white. Apart from that, I'm going to use orange cassart and I'm going to use one metallic paint for it as a pale amaranth red and then on top of that mass black and mass black will be used for swipe I want the background to be pretty dark I want this kind of I'm going to paint uh, the sky but I want it to be pretty gloomy and dark and I'm using this paints gray so this is my lightest lightest batch I'm just spreading it nicely. I was deliberating whether it would be good to do a dirty pour on the background, but I actually want like a sort of gradual change of tone. So I'm just spreading it instead. I'm adding the dark a bit. And I actually, I don't want to see the borders. So I'm going to sort of uh, blend. I'll try to blend the two hues together once I spread it. Okay, time for the darkest bit. I might even add a bit of black at the bottom, see how that goes. I'm still wondering whether I want to do a bit of a swipe at the bottom, but um, let's see what it looks. I very often change my mind halfway through the painting. Just go with my intuition. This paint's grey mixed with a bit of white is actually like a beautiful um sort of navy blue very subtle i didn't put anything underneath my canvas because i have to be honest i don't want the paint to drip oops ha huh. uh, while i'm adding black i'm going to tell you briefly how i mix my paints uh, so i use pva glue and water 50 50 as my pouring medium then i add a bit of paint i would say one third of paint to two thirds of pouring medium and then to that i add a dash of flow chill i would say maybe 10 20 percent and sometimes i use silicone but very often i don't I'm not all, i don't always want to have cells well it all depends on uh, technique so i'm kind of still thinking if i maybe i'll add a bit of silicone to my black but we'll see in a minute at the moment i'm just enjoying the lovely lovely blues here gray blues as you can see i didn't even mix the black with blue i'm just doing it i'm mixing it basically on the canvas mini blob here oh by the way uh just to amuse you a little bit um i was told in one of the comments recently i used too much hands <laughs> I thought that was quite entertaining, so I just wonder if there's any other option. What else could I use for my paintings? I'm going to use my chef's torch now and I'm going to pop some bubbles, you can see them. Okay, that's enough. I'm just looking at the bottom now and I think maybe in my leftover black, black paint there was a tiny bit of silicone. As you can see those dots, well actually quite interesting. 
so maybe i will do like a very very tiny swipe maybe some of you love the cells uh, watching the cells grow so perhaps i'll just do like a very gentle swipe from the bottom what do you think i don't want to regret later on you see if i didn't heat it up i wouldn't have even noticed that there was a like a tiny tiny tiniest bit of silicone um yeah so i'm going to add more black at the bottom and just do some gentle swipes up as if uh, the poppies were growing out, out from the ground. So there's my very thin line of black. And now I'm going to use a uh, tissue paper and I'm going to cut some really thin strips because I definitely don't want a huge swipe. I just want to sort of like imitate some of the stems. Okay, I'm going to spray it with water a bit. Oops, actually got ripped, doesn't matter. Okay, so very gentle swipe and touching the black. Sort of moving up. Dip my palette knife in black and make some thinner lines. I think that's enough. Time for the poppies. To be honest, I should be wearing gloves, but I just like playing with paint and then I end up having all black nails. But anyway, I wonder, can you see the patterns here that the swipe created? I know it's kind of black on, I mean, dark on almost black. Okay, I'm ready for the poppies. So, question is, do I want to use white maybe i'll use a bit of white and i wonder how many poppies how many poppies do i want mm. let's just put one here i want them quite big to be honest maybe bigger bigger from close and then a few smaller ones one somewhere here i wonder if i should be using white or not well, I started, <laughs> as you can see, full experiment. Okay, let's just do those two, and if I don't like them, I can change the other ones. Okay, now, now we're going with quite a lot of red. This is this lovely, lovely bright red. If you are wondering why I'm using those old sticks, I just, I constantly reuse everything. I just wash them and use them again. That's so red. And that's what I wanted. I wanted some vibrant colors on this dark background. This paint is a bit thicker than the background color. Hopefully not too thick. I'll just put now a bit of, a bit of orange to create some and different shades of the petals and well, a tiny bit of gold don't be enough this gold when it's dry it's the most beautiful gold i've seen okay and a tiny bit of black mid sections to be black but not too much i can always add more later Now I do have this silicone straw, but to be honest, it's so clumsy and fat that I think I'm going to use my old plastic one that I've had for probably a year now. Okay, so we start blowing. Turn it. Keep turning, it's easier for me this way. You see how the black is creating cells, but I don't mind few cells here. They actually look pretty cool, I think. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, if you enjoy the music at the beginning and the end of my video, you may want to check out the artist, Lesless, 
Um, my son has actually just shot and edited his live act performance and you can watch it here. There's a link. Well, I just have to say that because I'm so proud of him. Oh, that's pretty cool. I actually like those bits of blue peeping through. I might blow this one a bit more, I don't know. I quite like the, the one on the right. And maybe we need a bit of black just here. Faded section again. Or was it too much? No, I think it's nice. They are fancy poppies anyway, aren't they? Okay, so I think I'm going to do uh, maybe two small ones. Or just one small one. In. And a few birds. One here, one here. Okay, I'm going to blow from this angle now. These are going to be really small ones. This is not the uh, not the technique that I use uh, often for my poppies. If you want to watch another video with my poppies, uh, there will be a link over here. I very often do a swipe and then I just sort of uncover the underneath layer using a straw. But these poppies are sort of painted on top. They don't have to be perfect, they are from the distance, so so small it's actually pretty difficult to to make the right shape so these are almost ready i think i'm going to add a couple of sort of like small buds just really not blowing anything but sort of in the distance just adding a couple of these Maybe one even here, and a tiny bit of orange to it. Okay, now I have to think about stems, how I want my stems to be. Okay, so now with uh, my black paint, I'm just going to uh, draw some some stems. I could also add a bit of black to those little buds. So I'm using my little stick. and. Very quickly, sort of drawing some stems. Well, I think the blooms are finished. I am going to leave them to dry. So at the moment, that's what they look like. And my poppies are completely dry now. Uh, I can show you the lovely shine of the gold. So I'm just going to embellish them a bit. And I've got one problem, a big problem. So the first thing will be uh, going over some of the stems to make them slightly lighter on this side, as if the light was coming from, from the left. So I've got my paints grey and I've got a little bit of white paint. I'm just going to mix it here to create some highlights. The problem is the whole uh, sort of bottom part of the canvas went too dark and I've lost some of my uh, plant formation, just some of the, the grass. So I, I, really, I really have to think what to do next. But at the moment I'm just doing my, my stems over the black lines that I created before. I'm just adding a bit of highlight to the little bud here. So see here I'm just making them a bit lighter so I'm using more white paint so you can see the highlight. You know the young poppies they actually kind of grow down the heads are sort of hanging down. I should have done it to those big ones but I wanted them to be seen so I'm just adding a few lines going down. Okay. Now, uh, well, I've got a problem actually because I was not expecting the bottom of the painting to get so dark. 
I did want uh, the leaf, you know, the blades of grass and the various kind of uh, stems to be seen. However, it's very, very faint. So I've been thinking, should I paint over? What should I do? Maybe spray like two hours ago. <clears throat> I just had an idea. How about me printing some leaves on top? Well, let's see if that's going to work. I'm also going to add some uh, sort of small buds just in the shadow because I've got those lines going down. That's the way poppies actually grow. Just a very, very slight indication. Well, maybe it's too close to my to my flower, so I can always take it, take it off, or just leave a very, very faint, faint shape like this. Now I pick these, and I hope they will be useful. So I'm just going to dip them in paint and add some sort of blades of grass here with a slightly lighter lighter uh, paints grey so they kind of stand stand out more from the background I think I'm going to mix it here so it's easier for me to dip the blade and then transfer them here so this was my I think that was my darkest darkest shade so now I need a bit of white just drops of white I also don't want it to be too light I could do some darker and some lighter, you know, darker in the distance and lighter in the foreground. Okay, how shall we do it now? Should I use a brush to paint over the, the blades? I like it sort of together. Oh, made it all dirty. <laughs> oh, they split up. That's fine. So let's just do this one. I think I'm going to use this brush. I could dip it, but I... I I don't want that much paint. I'm not sure whether it will work well or not. If it's not enough, I'll, I'll always dip it again. It's sort of a bit like printing. I was actually printing with my students today. Well, for those of you who don't know, I work at an academy uh, and I teach art. So we were doing some lino cutting and printing. So that gave me the idea for the, for the leaf printing. Okay, see the moment of truth. So let's just put it. Ah, it's so flimsy. Let's see. <laughs> okay, quite a big one. I think I'm going to dip actually more and just. Uh, you may ask, why am I not painting? It's because I don't want them to be so perfect. And also, this is pouring acrylics or pull of pouring acrylics. So, uh, kind of want it to be more fun. Still using the same blade. I'm going to change them for different sizes. Yeah, well, so far, it's all right. Okay, let's find a different blade. I'm looking for something thinner. This one should be perfect. And I am dipping it all in the paint now. Of course I should be wearing gloves, but as usual I don't. I like touching the paint. Try this one. Yeah, some blades seem to be better, <laughs> better than others, but that's okay. I'm trying not to touch the background with my dirty fingers. Just a bit. Mm. And as I said, this kind of imperfection of printing makes it sort of look more real, doesn't it? So once I'm happy with this tone, I'm going to add some lighter ones. How about adding different sort of plants in the background? Let's try this one. So as you can imagine, the field, we have different plants, a few different plants growing. Oh, I love it. Look at this one. That's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to do a few of these. Definitely like it. And it's fun. It's really fun. One more. Oh, that's a nice one. I love it. And as you can see, I can print it a few times. 
and I still got some faint lines. Oh wow, like it. <laughs> now I'm getting more happy. You know when you make a piece and it kind of doesn't sit with you till you, you find the thing that yes, that's it. And then I can finish. Okay, so I'm going to do some lighter lines now with some blades and a few more leaves. And then I think we're almost ready. So now I'm using the same paints grey, but this time I am going to add a little more white to make it lighter. Not much, not really white, but just, just a bit lighter than the plants here. Is it much lighter? Not really. So a bit of white, just a drop. You can see it's basically the tiniest, tiniest drop. I just want a few more prominent blades of grass and a leaf and that's it. Where shall we put it? Mm. How about one here? Okay, I'm not sure. Let's do something different. So I might repeat it in a few places. And now I think I am going to use some more blades of grass with the lighter paint. That should give us an impression that something is much closer to us in the foreground. This is like a piece of hay <laughs> that gives me a different shape and it's going to be a bit darker once it's dry. And now a few of those beautiful... I think this one is definitely my favourite. Look at this beauty. I think I'm almost done. And I think these little buds, they have to be sort of more hairy. So I'm adding a tiny bit of <laughs> sort of spiky bits. I'm only adding them on this side because, as I said, that's the source of the source of light is on the left. As you can see, they are not really carefully applied. Just a few, few little bits. The last thing I will do now, I'm going to add a bit more black in the middle, just to make some of the sort of black inside more prominent. And I could use the my pouring black paint. I could also use Posca pens. They're brilliant. They are acrylic pens. Uh, so it would be great if you could use the affiliate link in the description. I get a very small commission on each purchase at no extra cost for you. So that's an excellent way to support my channel. So a tiny bit more black in the middle just to make those elements stand out more. Of course, these are not real poppies, so I'm not really worried, you know, that the inside should be round with those dots. I think that printing uh, leaves and plants is such a fun way of painting and very easy and doable. Okay, I'll have to stop at some point. I'm quite enjoying myself now. This is the nicest part when you sort of uh, relax and, and you know, well, it's, it's fine. Because I do struggle throughout the process, you know, if I'm not happy with something. But... Well, I hope you enjoyed the process. It was quite different, I think. Uh, I actually painted poppies. There's another video, you can see the link over there. Um, in, a, in a different way, there was a swipe. And then I was blowing the poppies out with a straw, but in a very, very different way. So it would be nice if you could... Uh, see that and tell me what you think. I'll show you how they shine. The gold shines when I put the lamp on. Just look at the gold. It's amazing. Oh, now the light completely the red changed. It's more orange, but they are deeper, deeper red in real life. All these prints look at that well I hope you enjoyed the process so if you liked it please press like and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so then you know when my new videos are coming out and also you can join me every Saturday when they premiere and then I you can talk to me and I can answer lots of questions oh by the way I forgot to tell you next Saturday I'm going to have something very special it's going to be a different episode hopefully it's going to be very entertaining well so please join me next Saturday thank you so much for watching bye bye